Courtney, I'm really not even sure where to begin with this. Words can't even begin to explain my thoughts and emotions for this day. I just want you to know that there's not one thing in this world that I wouldn't do for you. You are the most amazing woman I have ever met and, my, and the best friend I could have ever asked for. We have had our ups and downs for sure, but I honestly think that has made our relationship what it is today. I love you more than anything in this world and I honestly mean that. We have watched each other grow in many different ways and I am truly thankful for that. When we say these when we say these vows in just a few hours, I hope you understand that these words are forever no matter what. I promise to take care of you, love you, trust you, respect you and so much more forever and ever. I have called you my wife on many occasions just because of the years we have been together, but today I will be able to call you my wife and it really be true. Moral to this is I absolutely cannot wait to see you walk down the aisle today in that dress that you have always dreamed about. Baby, today is the day. No more stressing, no more tears. It's your day. Smile, laugh, and just be you. See you shortly, beautiful. I love you. Wow, I can't believe it. We are getting married. I never in a million years thought that I would ever get married. Somehow or another, you changed my entire outlook on marriage. And today, on August 19th, 2017, I will be your wife. I'm so thankful to have found you. There aren't too many people who can pass my stubborn ways, but you somehow always manage to. I couldn't ask for a more hardworking, loving man than you. You have taken away all my doubts from finding a good, loving man, and I would and I wouldn't trade you for anything. You might drive me absolutely crazy, but there isn't anybody in this world that I would rather drive me crazy than you. I love you so, so, so much, regardless of how I show it, and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. I'll see you at the altar at 6 p.m., baby. I love you forever. Future Miss Butler. I love you, Daddy. Everyone rise, please. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? My mother, my sister, and I. Brian and Courtney, love is a miraculous gift, and a wedding is a celebration of that gift that you're awaiting to share with one another. I'd like to share with you this evening from the scriptures, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, starting with verse 4. Very awesome scripture here. It says, love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast and it is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking, and it is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in the evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, it always trusts, it always hopes, and it always perseveres. I, Brian. I, Brian. Vow in the presence of God, Vow in the presence of God. To love and cherish Courtney. To love and to cherish Courtney. To respect and support her dreams. To respect and support her dreams. To laugh with her. To laugh with her. To trust and always believe in her. To trust and always believe in her. To shelter her when times are difficult. To shelter her when times are difficult. To grow with her. To grow with her. To have faith in our journey together. To have faith in our journey together. 
To faithfully love Courtney forever. To faithfully love Courtney forever. With all my heart. With all my heart. Courtney, do you have your ring? Place the ring on Brian's finger and repeat after me. I, Courtney. I, Courtney. Vow in the presence of God. Vow in the presence of God. To love and to cherish Brian. To love and to cherish Brian. To respect and support his dreams. To respect and support his dreams. To trust and always believe in him. To trust and always believe in him. To shelter him when times are difficult. To shelter him when times are difficult. To grow with him. To grow with him. To have faith in our journey. To have faith in our journey. To faithfully love Brian forever. To faithfully love Brian forever. With all of my heart. With all of my heart. But I pronounce you husband and wife. Brian, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, with great joy, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Brian Vining. start off tonight by saying thank you to everyone that made it out to celebrate Courtney and Brian. I think we can all agree that when you think about these two, you think about two people that are always going above and beyond for each other and the people they love. And so tonight I'm honored to be here to show you all that same love in return. Brian, I'll start with you first. I'm grateful to be gaining a brother tonight. I know I don't have to worry about my little sister anymore from here on out. You've already shown us that you're willing to do whatever it takes to make sure Courtney is taken care of. And I want you to know that that's a quality that I admire most about you. It's a true testament of your love for her. And Courtney, I'm so glad to see you happy. I'll never forget when you and Brian went on your first date. And came, he came rolling up on 22. <laughs> and you were like, oh, hell no. <laughs> I guess he's really won you over since then, seeing as you were the sister that was never going to get married. But all jokes aside, you've gone through a lot to get to this point, And I love you more than you know. I'm so thankful you two have found each other. I wish y'all many years of laughter and happiness. Officially, welcome you to the family, Congrats, you too. I know you look up to me and have always done so. Well, believe it or not, I look up to you for something, some things as well. You truly are not only my brother, but you are my best friend as well. I thought, I taught you how to do many things in life, being on to being a picky eater, to having your hair on point all the time, I now see you where Cannon gets all that from. Then to having the perfect fit hat on your head. And this is where I adore, admire, respect, and even feel sorry for my new sister that I have taken in today. Courtney, you truly are an amazing person. I really do know that you and Brian are made for one another. I admire how you take care of Penny as your own, 
you already are a great stepmother. One of the many reasons why Brian has chosen you to be in his and Hannah's life forever. I am so happy that you are officially my family forever. I love you like a sister and always will. And for all that, we should make a toast to Brian and Courtney Lyon.